Hi, I'm Pop Coffee, and this is Coffee University. This video is about what's known here in Indonesia as Kopi Lawak, or civet cat coffee. And this is the animal that eats the coffee cherries, digests it, defecates out the coffee bean, where it is then collected, uh, roasted, and charged the highest price for a cup of coffee in the world. People think if they're paying a higher price, it must be better. And in my experience, Coffee Lua is a scam. And I will tell you exactly why. Later on, we will do a field trip and I will show you exactly how the Kopi Luwak is created and point out the exact problems with it. So, this idea of Kopi Luwak Civic Cat Coffee was popularized by the movie called The Bucket List with Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman. And on Jack Nicholson's bucket list was to try this coffee that costs upwards of $100 a cup that passes through a civet cat's system and is defecated out. Oh, disgusting. But people want to pay $100 a cup to buy uh, something that may be disgusting, kind of freak out their friends. Maybe that's the appeal. And people come here all the time asking if we have coffee to walk or civet cat coffee. So what actually happens is there is nothing that happens in the digestive tract of the civet cat to alter the coffee, and this is why. The coffee seed has a mucous membrane surrounding it, and then the coffee cherry is on top of that. So the civet cat picks the ripest cherry, it's its food source, it knows what is the ripest cherry, eats the cherry, the body takes in the cherry as food, and passes the seed with this mucous membrane around it through its digestive tract. Nature has designed this mucous membrane to pass through untouched because this seed wants to be a tree. Makes sense from a very logical point of view. So what happens is when you see the civet cat, and I've seen this, actually defecating uh, the seeds out in its poop, it looks exactly like you took the seed and just removed the cherry part. The inner part is completely intact. Now this mucous membrane that is surrounding the seed is only used, is there for this purpose of passing through the animal's digestive tract. And in fact, you never roast coffee with this mucous membrane still attached. What you must do is take the seed dry it so the mucous membrane becomes very easy to remove and then this is what you have is the green coffee seed now this is ready for roasting with the mucous membrane you don't roast it you cannot roast it and the interesting thing is a tree will not grow if that mucous membrane is not still attached to the seed okay so what is the advantage then that this cat has of coffee the lock well, the one advantage that it has is it, the, the coffee cherry is its food source. So it knows the ripest cherries to eat. And the ripest cherries have the most evolved coffee bean inside. So this advantage has actually been taken away from the civet cats. Because now, in coffee growing areas, like here in Indonesia, in Vietnam, and some other places, these civet cats are caged. They're put in caged, cages, and they are fed by humans, the coffee cherries. So now they have lost the ability to choose from a multitude of coffee trees and select their own uh, particular cherries that they want to eat, the ripest ones. So they're fed these cherries, and then uh, the poop is collected. These, these coffee lawak is uh, uh, separated and this is sold to the public. Well now, we've just taken away the advantage, the only advantage that the civet cat has of choosing its own food source because nothing happens in the digestive tract of the civet cat. And in fact, <clears throat> when coffee is processed in coffee growing areas, here in Bali this is the case, what they do is they separate the mucous membrane and the seed from the cherry and then they put it in water 
for 24 hours to allow it to ferment. This fermentation process is the same process of staying in the civet cat digestive tract for 24 hours. It loosens up the mu mucous membrane and allows the mucous membrane to then be removed before the coffee seed is roasted. This is a pretty complex process. This is kind of an advanced course and it's, uh, it's longer, but I, I just want to really explode this, debunk this myth that civet cat coffee lawak is supposed to be uh, the best roasted coffee, the, the best tasting coffee. My question always is, the best tasting coffee is, when was it roasted? Is it 100% Arabica? Is it organically grown? And when was it roasted? That's going to produce the best coffee possible. You get two credits for this video. I am Pot Coffee, this is Coffee University, and again, we will do a field trip later on so I can show you the exact process of how this works, and you can see in better visuals uh, the process.